know the heat of the developing countries cause the sea level to rise. The sea has been having a party. There's no petrol getting the carburetor, there's no return carby to the tank, that was disconnected. We run it completely dry. We purge the bowl of the carburetor with negatively charged water. We actually poured water into the float chamber of mm -hmm. the carburetor yeah. and cleaned it out. We try we give it a long long time to really clean it out, make sure it wouldn't fire. <laughs> And then we got the cell connected. Yeah, not too far. Well, yeah. Alan was made up. What do you set the timing? Not going into the engine by put off the grid. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. He said it was wrong. Yeah. And it's firing, and yet there is, it's it defies all logic because the water, there's no water, there's no hydrogen, there's no oxygen going in. It is creating another form of energy that is can't be explained scientifically as we know science. There was a big break in science around about, say, the 13th or 12th century, where the church had concepts of what it believed, and scientists started learning other things, such as Copernicus and uh, Galileo. And they started saying other stuff, like, hey, you know, the sun's at the center of the solar system. And they were said, no, 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 don't say that against the church, because we are all powerful. And if you say that, we will burn you at the stake. So shut your mouth. So there was this great break between what's really true, which is God and divinity, and science. And science went and crept off into this area called materialism. So everything had to be mathematically correct, which is not, you know, that's okay, that's godly. But it was limited science, not true science. I mean, why? Why is that heart beating inside me? Now, where does this energy come from? You know, who's seeing? You know, all these wonderful things, which is real science, which you might want to call truth. <gasps> Right now, the uh, way people are enslaved is through energy and through media. So if you can, we have free energy, but listen, everyone's paying m tax and tax and tax, and every day, 50 bucks out of your pocket for, for energy that's free. We know how to make it free. That's about two drops of of negative charge water. If you don't think that current is actually going through that um, rubber insulated balloon by putting a positive and negative jumper lead on each side of it, I'm going to show you that uh, while you've got a liquid in something, the AC and DC and spark and everything else, they are massive conductors. Mm. I'll just show you exactly that it is. We'll do it by this lead, the middle one again, and uh, so on. Now if it was a if it was an insulator, then this here would not go to it, would it? No. Go. Start. Okay. That is. Got nothing in it because we've got moving water. We've got a moving liquid. Okay. Put it 
put it on the... See if it'll like, it lit last time. If it don't... Yeah, yeah there it goes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, the grass is... Water. Energy, right? Water burning. So what people will Still say is that the grass is green. That water. rubber balloon's burning, but it's not the rubber balloon. But yeah, tell why that flame it's not grass. Mm. Yeah. No, that's not grass no, now. It's no, no, no. It's actually getting bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's burns for ages. It's burns for ages. Be careful. See, where's the pizza? Here we have an old Subaru. We're going to do an amazing experiment, which we saw the other day, which we couldn't believe, is to pour water from a normal garden hose straight into the air intake or the carby of a car while it's running. I mean, it doesn't make sense, does it? You rec what do you reckon would happen? Just die? What, what do you think? Some people say, you know, you can't compress liquids. So that if you put an incompressible liquid inside a hydraulic ram, you're going to break something because you're going to snap the con rods. Okay, let's do it. from Casino to Brisbane on a cup and a half of water. Your best water, mate. In the moonlight, in the sunlight, in the ocean, in the sunshine, with the fishes, in the water, in the ocean, I always love her. I'm not doing it. I just say put water into there and do whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> 